Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I got a good game for you, or it should be a good game for you. We're going to do the 1977 Packers visiting the 1968 Boston Patriots. Now, in real life, both teams were 4-10. and 10. But not only that. They are in a Sportsman Z football league, which I have of uh, teams from all different years, they're all thrown together into the same league. And I have quick played that to the final game of the season, which is today, game 16. And coming into game 16, Boston is 3-12, and and the Packers are 3-12. and The Patriots have scored 193 points and allowed 371. And the Packers have scored 184 points and score and allowed 319. So that all, in my opinion, makes for a very good game. Um, as I said, I will be controlling the Patriots. So with that, I believe we will get underway. And I am also uh, recording this. Um, if you saw my um, recent channel update on Christmas Day, you know that I had uh, muffed a recording. I like recorded the entire game, and then for some reason it didn't save. So in this one, I am going to um, I'm recording this game off of another screen. I got two screens going here. Um, so we will play one week and so I will have a backup recording just in case this game on the screencast-o-matic doesn't come out and you can see the finals are rolling in for those these other games look at the Saints 15 and 0 I got to see what happens after this See if they were undefeated. And that was the, I believe it was the 2018. I want to say it was the 2018 scene. Yes, the Saints are undefeated. That is pretty crazy. I might have to do something with this league with the Saints. I mean, that is crazy. 446 points for and 197 against and 16 and 0. Um, so, yeah, it's putting us into our game now. Stay tuned after the game because I may take a look at the Saints and see for sure what year they were and look at some of their stats. But right now, we got a game going on here. And I am going to launch the game. There you go. You got the Boston Patriots symbol at the half, uh, you know, midfield. And we are kicking off. Green Bay won the toss, and I suppose they wanted to receive. Being returned by Odom. Ah, oh, we had a chance to hem them up, but we didn't. So they're out at the 35. They're going to have the ball first and 10 at the 35. Let's go over the Green Bay offense. You have uh, Ollie Smith at flanker. You got Lynn Dickey. Remember Lynn Dickey? That dude was awesome. Completion percentage of only 51.4%, though, in 1977. And then you got uh, Steve Odom at the split end. Running backs are Eric Torkelson and Barty Smith. Um, and then at tight end, you got Rick McGeorge. Right tackle is Dick Himes. Right guard is Melvin Jackson. Center is Larry McCarron. Guard is Steve Newton, and the left tackle is Mark Conker. For us, uh, up front for the Patriots defense, you got left end Jim Hunt, left tackle Dennis W. Bird, uh, right tackle Houston Antwine, 
right end, Mel Witt. Linebacking crew is Ed Philpott. Nick Bonacati. Remember Nick Bonacati? He was on Inside the NFL. Uh, Doug Satcher. And then in the defensive backfield for the Patriots, you've got Leroy Mitchell at left cornerback. John Charles at safety. Billy Johnson at free safety. And... Daryl Johnson at right cornerback. So with that, we are going to get underway. And we're going to look, for, I'm just going to start out looking balanced. And they run the ball with Torkelson and we <clears throat> stop him after five. So they have a second and five. I'm going, I'm going to look for the run again. I mean, Dickey's completion percentage is horrible. So that's really what they should be doing. And it looks like we held them nothing. So they got a third and five coming up. I am going to look for the run and key the half back because, uh, again, they really, well, they are passing. But, again, Dickey is terrible. So, oh, we didn't stop them. They got a first down. They have a first and 10 at the Green Bay 47. I am going to, I'm going to look run again. I'm just going to look general run now. And he does run and we should get him in the backfield and we do. So they lost a yard there. Um, I'm going to look balanced on second down. Let's go balanced. And they run again. And uh, we, we stop him before the first down, but he got quite a few yards. He got six. So they have a third and four. Now I am going to look for the pass. I'm not going to double team anybody. I'm just going to look for the pass. And they kind of don't, but we got a fumble. Fumble. I'm going to fall on the ball. I'm just going to fall on the ball. I don't trust this Patriots defense as far as I can throw it. So let's look at the Patriots offensively. You got split end Bill Murphy. Uh, you've got a left tackle, Tom Funches. Left guard, Justin Keneally. Center, John Morris. Right guard, Len St. Jean. Tackle, Tom Neville. And the tight end is Jim Whalen. And out at the flanker, you got Aaron Marsh. Running backs are Jim Nance and R.C. Gamble. And the quarterback is um, Tom Sherman. He only completed 39.8% of his passes and was intercepted 7.1% of the time. So uh, you can see what we're going to be doing. We're going to be running the ball. Let's go off tackle with Nance. And he gets some good yards. That was crazy. Yeah, five yards on first down. So let's go line buck with Gamble. And he's going to get hit in the backfield and stopped. And so they got a third and six. I'm going to go flat pass. I mean, you've got to you've got to do some type of pass here. I'm going to go flat to the tight end. And it does. It's a completed pass. High percentage passes. That's what you got to do with this team. Uh, let's go line buck with Nance. And there's going to be a penalty. Hopefully it's on Green Bay. It isn't. So we've got a first and 10 at the Green Bay 47. Oh, wait, maybe it was. Maybe it was automatic. I don't know. First and 10, though, at the first at the Green Bay 47. So I'm going to go flat to uh, the halfback. And that's going to be incomplete. Second and 10. Let's air it out, even though he's a bad passer. Let's see what happens if we air it out. Get under it. Get under it. No, they don't. All right. So third and 10. Third and 10, you got to go short pass, even though he's probably not going to 
completed if he only completed 40% of his passes. But let's see. He does, though. And it's a first down. Nice. So keep the chains moving. Uh, I'm going to go off tackle with Nance. First and 10 at the Green Bay 34. That's not a bad run by Nance. He got a first down on his own. So we have a first and 10 at the Green Bay 20. That you would think is field goal range, but let's get a little closer just to make sure. Uh, Thomas, we're going to go off tackle with Thomas. Oh, he's going to get hit in the backfield. We lost a yard at second and 11. I'm going to go looking pass to the flanker. And that's going to be incomplete. It looked like it could have been intercepted. So it's third and 11. You know what? Third and 11, he's not going to be looking for it. I'm going to go blocking back, and then we're going to go line buck with Nance. And even if we don't get it, when we don't, don't. It's not even close. Fourth and 11, so Gino Capaletti is on to kick the uh, field goal. And he misses. I knew he was going to miss it. I knew it. All right. Um, so Green Bay has it first and 10 at their 28. Lynn Dickey sending the men out. I'm going to look for the run because, of course, Dickey is not very good at passing. And they do run. And they get some yards, too. It's uh, They got six yards. I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Simpson. Not OJ, hopefully. And he passes, but it's incomplete. So he's got a third and four. Uh, hmm. This is tough. I'm going to go. Uh, I got to look for the pass. No, he runs it. I was just, I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to, yeah. First and 10 uh, at the Green Bay 41 for Green Bay. I am going to run and key on the halfback. And he runs it with the fullback. So he got some yards, second and four. I'm just going to look run. I'm just going to put in the run. And he, uh, we got him just at the first down marker. So Green Bay has a first and 10 at the Boston 49. He just crossed midfield. I'm looking pass here, first down. No, he runs. I mean, I, I really, he's got to, I suppose. He only got three yards, so it's second and seven. I am going to look for the run again. I'm just going to put in the general run. I'm not going to key on anybody. He does run the ball, again, because he has to. But he got a lot of yards. I'm going to look run. There's no way I'm not looking run. Um, I am looking run. I'm just, I'm going to just plain look run. And he does. But he, I guess he fumbled, but got the ball back. So it's first and 10 at the Boston 35. He's moving methodically down the field. I'm looking run. And there's a penalty. Hopefully it's on Green Bay. But he's letting them play through so yeah it was on us so he's got a first and 10 at the boston 12. not a good thing uh let's look for the pass down here just you know no no he's not gonna do that second and six though we held him to four yards now let's look for the run maybe we can hold him to a field goal and it's a fumble. I'm going to fall on it. No, he got it back. God, he got it back. All right. Uh, third and two. I'm looking for the run. Zero, zero here. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Dickey back to pass. And did they catch it? No, it's incomplete. What was there? A penalty or something? 
first and goal, or maybe maybe he only had to, he didn't have to get a touchdown. Maybe all right. So we're gonna look for the run, and we are now in almost well, no, still seven seconds left, and they got a touchdown. So they're gonna come out of the first quarter up seven nothing. We'll put in kick defense. And they make it so it's seven nothing Green Bay after the extra point and they will kick off. And we are at the start of the second quarter taking this kickoff. I'm just going to take the ball for a touchback. It's hard running a team like this because you really can't do anything except run the ball. And he's going to, oh my, what a loss of yards on that. Lost eight yards on an end run. All right. Um, let's go flat pass to the split end. And was that complete? Yeah, it was for three. So now we got a third and 15. Let's go short to the flanker. You never know. But it's incomplete. So we are going to punt. Swanson out to punt for the Patriots. And it gets deflected. And Swanson makes the tackle to game saving. No, it's not. It is not a game saving tackle at all. But he makes the tackle at the uh, one yard line. So they've got the ball. We're going to look for the run. And they get another touchdown because we couldn't punt the ball even successfully. We couldn't kick a field goal and we couldn't punt the ball. I'm going to put in the kick defense. And it's not looking good for the Boston Patriots early here. Down 14 nothing. With 13-16 left in the half. Nice return though to the 25. So we have a first down. I'm going to go off tackle with the halfback gamble. And he only gets a couple yards, so it's second and eight. Let's do a line buck with Thomas, the fullback. And he gets nothing. Third and eight. Let's go short pass to the flanker. There is a penalty, but it's probably going to be on us. And it is. It's third and 13. Let's go short pass to the split end. He'll probably be sacked. That's my prediction. No, he's out on the run. Sherman out on the run and doing pretty well. But we've still got a fourth and five, so we're going to punt. Hopefully this time he doesn't get it blocked. First down for Green Bay at their own 31, 10.45 left in the half. It's 14-0. I'm going to do a linebacker blitz. And we were in, well, let's, what's going to happen? There, it's intercepted, yes. Going to try to return it. Try to gain some yards, yes, indeed. That might be a break for us, but we fumble the ball. I'm going to try to pick it up and run with it. And we still get a few more yards even after that. So we got a first and 10 at the Green Bay 33 after all that mess. Let's do a look in pass to the flanker. Oh, he's offside. It's going to be a penalty on him. And we are going to accept it for sure. 
So we got a first and five at the Green Bay 28. Of course, I'm not guessing that Capaletti can possibly even make a field goal from here. So we're going to go long to the split end. Let's just see what happened. Sherman out on the run. He's shown he can run the ball, though, and he can for a first down. We have a first and 10 at the Green Bay 21. I'm going to do a look in pass to the flanker. Didn't work last time. Let's see if it can work this time. And it does for the first down. We have a first and 10 at the Green Bay 11. Let's go short. Even though this is not really his forte passing, I mean, at all. But let's see if we can do it just the same. And we can! Touchdown for Boston. In the most unlikeliest of ways, Capaletti to kick it. Going to kick the extra point. Hopefully he makes it. And he will. So it's 14-7 now. Now we're kind of back in the game here. Going to do the kickoff. 840 left in the half. And uh, let's see. 4-3. Yeah. Let's look. Let's go balanced. I'm going to start out balanced. And that was good. And it was incomplete by Dickey. So second and 10. Now I'm looking run. I'm thinking this guy's going to run. No. He's passing with Dickey. Oh. Incomplete. Nice. Now he's got a pass. Pass and double. I might as well double team somebody. Take away one of his options, at least. And it's completed. God. All right. I'm looking run. First and 10 for Green Bay at the 40. There's a penalty on the play. Hopefully on him. No, it isn't. Second and one, uh, we're going to run and key on the halfback, Torkelson. And he's passing on second and one, and why not, really? I mean, third and one, I am going to run and key on Middleton. And he runs with Dickey, quarterback keeper. So he's got a first and ten. At R48, I'm going to start out with balanced. And he runs. And that's not bad. He only got one yard. Um, I'm going to look for the run. Not going to key on anybody. Just going to look for the run. And he passes. And it's incomplete. Third and nine. We're looking for the pass. And this time I'm not going to double team anyone. I'm just going to look for. And we're going to sack Dickie, babe. All right. So he's got a fourth and 20. Obviously, he's going to pass. I mean, a punt. He's not going to pass. No, indeed, he's not. Beverly with the punt. And nobody's going to return it. We're just going to let it die right there. We got a first and 10 at the 23. Could be worse, I suppose. Let's go off tackle with Nance. There's a penalty. And I'm going to accept the penalty for sure. First and 10 at the Boston 40. Let's go line buck with Thomas. There's a penalty. And it's on us. So first and 10 at the Boston 40. Go off tackle with Nance. And Nance with a nice run. Nice. Second and two. Now this is where you launch it. Because you know you're going to have some downs to get the first. Sherman launching it. And Murphy not going to quite be able to get under it. So third and two. Yeah, tight end. Let's go line buck. You know what? Let's go line buck with Sherman. 
I mean, that guy can run. And he doesn't quite get it, but I'm going for it on a fourth and one at the Boston 49. Let's go with that tight end. Two tight end set. Yep. And let's go line buck with Nance. And he makes it. And I don't know how much of really a gamble that was, but we made it. So uh, first and 10 at the Green Bay 47. And he, oh, yeah. Well, time is winding down, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to call timeout. Uh, let's go off tackle with Gamble, at least not yet. Because if something happens and we give the ball back to him, I don't want him getting a lot of time. So second and four, I'm not going to call a timeout. And I'm going to go off tackle with Nance. Looks like he's not going to get a lot of yards. Although he does get the first down. So we have a first and 10 at the Green Bay 37. Um, I'm going to go short to the flanker, although he's probably guessing that that's what we're going to do. But we did it, and we're going to get a first down, and we're technically in field goal range, although with Capaletti, I don't want to guess that we're, we are for sure. Um... First and 10 at the Green Bay 37. I'm going to go short to the halfback. No, short to the flanker. Incomplete. All right. Second and 10. 107 left. Let's go off tackle with Gamble. Because they'll never guess that that's what we're doing. And they didn't, but... They still, let's see. I'm going to call a timeout. There's a minute left. It's third and 10 from the 24. I guess you got to go flat to the flanker. Flat to the flank. And there is a penalty. And who is that on? It's on us, third and 15. Now, I'm guessing Capaletti isn't going to make it. But third and 15 at the 29. We have got to get closer. So... I'm going to say, let's go with that, and then let's go line buck with Nance, because we've just got to get closer for a field goal attempt. And we did do that. So it's fourth and 10 at the Green Bay 24. I'm going to say nothing. And 30 seconds left, we're going to kick a field goal, make a field goal attempt. And he misses it. Obviously. I mean, I, I knew that was probably going to happen, but what were you going to do? It's 14 7, though, with 22 seconds left, and I am going to go linebacker blitz. See if we can make something happen here. We can't. It's incomplete. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just go double team somebody in a pass defense. And go in 14 7 at the half, hopefully. They got the first down, but that ain't going to do them a hell of good. First and 10 with, uh, let's see, is the game, is the uh, half over? Yes, it is. The half is over. So um, they are kicking off to us, and we will look at the halftime statistics as uh, sorry as those are going to be once we finish this return, which is not bad. It's out to the 24, 23, 24, 23. So let's look at the uh, box score so far in the game. Um, let me you can look at the overall team statistics right there. Uh, they're averaging 3.8 per rush. We're averaging 3.1. Passing, Lynn Dickey is 5 of 12 with an interception and a 19.8 quarterback rating. And Tom Sherman is 6 of 12 for 58 yards, one touchdown, and no interceptions, which is a 91.7 passer rating. Although 
if you've been watching the game, you would not think he was actually really that good. Uh, rushing stats are right here. Um, Barty Smith, 6 for 17 yards. Nate Simpson, 5 for 23 yards. Each of those guys with a touchdown. Eric Torkelson, 5 for 20 yards. For us, you got Jim Nance, 8 for 42 yards and a 5.3 average and 14 long. R.C. Gamble, 5 for negative 1 yard. Tom Sherman, 3 for 16. Gene Thomas, 2 for 1 for negative 1. And then there's the receiving stats. I'll let you take a couple seconds to look over what the receiving stats are and the field goals and the punting. But let's get on with the game. Okay, I'm going to do a... Uh, I'm going to do a draw play with the quarterback, Sherman. That dude can run a little bit. And let's see what happens. He gets hit immediately. Second and 11, we lost a yard. Let's go flat to the split end. Developing, developing situation. And it's a completed pass for a first down and a little more. Nice. I guess they didn't think we were going to do that. Let's go line buck with man. First and 10 at our 37. Nice run. I mean, he got three yards. Let's go line buck with Gamble. And that's a nice run. Nice little run. Third and three at the Boston 44. I'm going to go line buck with Sherman. And Sherman gets the first down. So we've got a first and 10 at the Boston 47. Let's go off tackle with Nance. That's, oh no, that's good, that's good. I, first I thought he was gonna get hemmed up. So we have a second and five at the Green Bay 48. Let's go look in pass to the halfback. There's a penalty on the play and we got a first down. But we didn't because it was a penalty. Second and 15. I'm going to go off tackle with Gamble. You know, we don't have to score right here. I think our defense is on to Green Bay, what they can do and what they can't do. And, uh, and they're mistake prone. So third and 10, yeah, I guess you really got to go here. Let's go. But let's go line buck with the fullback Thomas on third and 10 in a passing formation and we're close what do we got a fourth and four just across mid no on our side of midfield no no we are just across midfield um hmm, man dang this is tough but i'm gonna punt i'm gonna punt let our defense play it's only 14-7 You never know, you know, he could, he could muff the return. He could, you know, anything. And we're going to put in the run, look for the run. And we did hem him up second and 11. He lost a yard on first down. I'm going to look run again, just again, general run. And he does run and we do get Torkelson. So it's third and 10. Now you got to look for the pass. I'm not going to double team anybody because I seem to get in trouble when I double team people. But I was in trouble there because they completed it even though we were looking for it. So let's go with the run again. We have to try to get back to that situation. You got five or six there though, six. Let's go run. This time he's passing. And looks like it's going to be incomplete. So good. So third and four. I'm looking run. This time I'm looking run. No, he's passing again. And he completed it. I'm going to look. Let's, uh, yeah, let's look pass. Let's look pass on first down. 
No, he runs. But we got him pretty quickly. Only three yards. Let's look run on second down and seven. And we're going to get him in the way backfield. Oh, big loss there. He's got a third and 14 from the 50. Right here, we have got to hold. I'm going to double team Odom in a pass defense. And he did not make it. So let's see what he tries. He's going to try. It looks like a, oh, he's going to punt. So let's do the punt return. So I told you, I mean, there's not a lot. You got to remember, there isn't a lot he can do either. So we're just going to, although that is a great punt. Man, it's a great punt. Um, go line buck with Nance. No, I thought he might get a little more than that. He only got two yards. Let's go off tackle with the halfback gamble. Nice run, nice run to get us a little bit of breathing room. And now third and three. Going to go off tackle with Nance. And we get the first down. That's what we needed. We did definitely need to do that. Go line buck with uh, Thomas, the fullback. There is a penalty. Hopefully it's on him. No. So it's going to be first and 10 at the 14 for us. Let's try an end run. I know it didn't work the last time we tried it. And it's not going to work there either. Second and 11. Let's go flat to the fullback. And, man, that dude just raced in and sacked the quarterback, third and 14. Now we do have to try to pass. Got our protection in there, but didn't work. Fourth and 14, we're punting. Hopefully he doesn't have it blocked this time. Yeah, well, he's not going to have it blocked. That's a good thing. That's something. And they're going to take it right there. For, so they got a first and 10 at the Boston 44. We're going to look for the run. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. There's a penalty. I am going to, you know what? Um, if we accept the penalty, it is... Green Bay ball on the Green Bay 46, first and 20. If we decline it, it's Green Bay ball on the Green Bay 48, second and 18. I'm going to decline. Second and 18 at the Green Bay 48, and I am looking for, I'm going to go balanced. Let's go balanced. That way we can at least a lot for him to pass, and we did. Got some yards, though. He has a third and 10. We're starting the fourth quarter. He's got a third and 10 from the 44, which is where he originally started. I'm just going to put in the pass. And he is passing. We can't get to him after all that, and it's incomplete, so he will kick. Oh, he'll kick. So it's still 14-7. I mean, good game here between two very terrible teams. And it's a good kick again. He hems us up deep again at the two. First and 10 at the two. All right. Uh, you, I mean, what can you do? You're limited. And he only gets a yard, maybe. No, he gets back to the line. Line buck with the halfback gamble. And he only gets back to the line. Third and ten. I am gonna I'm gonna try to go short. I mean, you know. And it's incomplete, so we're gonna punt. It's hard to play like this, where you the field position is not on your side. He was like out of the end zone, but I suppose that doesn't matter. I suppose in real life he wasn't.
and they are going to be first and 10 at the Boston 38 this time. I'm going to look for the run. I mean, really, it, when you break this down, the only reason this game, the only reason Green Bay's well, uh, that was a great play for them. I was just about to say the only reason they're winning is because we had a blocked punt deep in our own end that they uh, set them up for a touchdown. But it would have been 14 7, I suppose. Go so kick block. I mean, you know, you got to try something here. Nope, doesn't work. So it is 21 to 7, Green Bay. 12 20 left in the game. I'm going to run with the ball only because really we've got to do something. And we, we're going to have it first and 10 at the 15. Go off tackle with the halfback gamble. He gets a few yards, second and four. Uh, let's go line buck with Nance. And he gets almost to the first down marker, but not quite. Let's go line buck with Nance. And he gets right to the first down marker. First and 10 for us at the 25. Go flat to the flanker. And he's got all the time in the world for sure, but he's still incomplete. Second and 10. Let's go off tackle with the halfback Thomas. And he gets hit in the backfield, so it's third and 10. Um, we're going to go short to this, the third wide receiver. And they're coming through, and they sack Sherman. All right, we're punting. Common theme, punting from deep in our own end. And Gray returns it and a little bit there, first and 10 for them at their 37. It was a nice punt, at least. I'm gonna look for the run because that's a, absolutely what they should be doing. Up 21-7 and um, with a quarterback that only completes just over half his passes. We get him in the backfield, so third and six for them. I'm, you know what, I'm gonna go balanced. I'm not completely sold that he's going to pass, but he does. Dickie back to pass, but it's incomplete, so they're going to punt. 21-7 Green Bay, 7-24 left in the game. And I'm going to try to run with the ball because, I mean, what, what else are you going to do? Still now we have a first and 10 at the 15 common theme. Flat pass to the halfback. They are off sides, so we have a free play. We're going to accept it for sure. First and five at the Boston 20. Let's go short to the flanker. And you still have to work within the restrictions, the limitations of your team. We have a first and 10 at the Boston 33. We're going to go off tackle with the fullback, Nance. He gets a nice run. Second and five at the Boston 38. Let's go line buck with Thomas. Nice run for five yards on a first down. So we have a first and 10 at the Boston 43. Let's go look and pass to the split end. 517 left. And it's incomplete. 
off tackle with the fullback out of a passing formation, and he gets a couple of yards. Third and eight at the Boston 45. Let's go. I'm still going to go look in pass to the tight end. I mean, we've got to go with high. He's off sides. Nice. I'm going to accept the penalty for sure. Third and three. Now with a third and three, I'm going to go out of the pro set, and we're going to go off tackle with the fullback. He shouldn't be looking for us to pat or to run, which will help. And it does help in a big way. Nice breakaway run by Nance. We have a first and 10 at the Green Bay 35. Let's go short to the wide receiver. There's a penalty. He's sacked. And we're going to accept the penalty. And Green Bay is just letting us, they're just walking us down the field. First and 10 at the Green Bay 30. I'm going to go flat to the wide receiver. And he does catch the ball, and he is beelining it for the out-of-bounds, and he makes, I think he made it. Second and fourth, the Green Bay 24. Let's go short to the wide receiver. And it's intercepted. You've got to be kidding me. All right, so they have it first and 10 at their own 14. We're going to look for the run. 234 left. And they're going to get the ball back, too. They fumble. No, 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 no. I'm going to pick it up and run with it. And we ran backwards with it. But we have a first and 10 at the Green Bay 16. Let's go short pass to the flanker. It's incomplete. Let's go short pass to the split end it's incomplete and let's go short to the flanker and it is incomplete it looks like fourth and ten i'm going to kick the field goal just to make it look better <laughs> just to make the game look better um We're going to do a field goal attempt here with Capaletti. He misses it. From this close, he misses it. I mean, we weren't going to get the fourth and ten anyway. So, I don't know. You know. At least I could have made it 21-10 and made a better looking game out of it. Middleton is hit in the backfield. One yard loss. Um, oh, I took a time. I didn't want to do that. I mean, we lost the game. It's a minute 30 left, and we're down two touchdowns. Um, third and 11. Now I'm looking pass. And he runs. And we do stop him, and he will punt. And I'm not going to call our final timeout. I'm going to just do the punt return. 37 seconds left in the game. Remember, we're going to take a look at the Saints' statistics for the season after this game is over. So you might want to stay tuned for that because they were 16-0. and 0. So, um, yeah, 30 seconds left. Let's launch it. Even though, really, that, again, not his strong suit is not passing. And it's incomplete. And 22 seconds left. Let's go short to the third wide receiver. And he catches it. And he makes the first down and gets out of bounds. First and 10 at the Boston 38. Going to launch it to the flanker. He does not look like he's going to catch up to that. Eight seconds left. The 
to go long to the split end. Tom Sherman launching it out and it's incomplete. One second left, third and 10. Go long. That's what uh, man, Horace Greeley said. Go long, young man, go long. And it's incomplete and that is game over. So let's take a look at the statistics. Um, box score. And we will move it over here. Let to read those stats. The team, the team statistics overall. Passing Dickey was 10 of 21. One touchdown, one interception for a 64.8 rating. Sherman was 10 of 28 for uh, with a touchdown and an interception and a 44.3 rating. Uh, Torkelson had uh, nine carries for 25 yards. Barty Smith and Nate Simpson both had touchdowns and uh, carried the ball combined 14 or 13, no, 15 times for 36 yards. For us, Nance had 18 carries for 82 yards. R.C. Gamble had 10 carries for 19. Gene Thomas had five carries for 10. And uh, Tom Sherman had five carries for 18 yards. I'll let you take a look at the receiving, field goal, and punting stats for a second. And then we will go on and we will look at the final standings and the great New Orleans Saints. But anyway, um, that's that. So we get out of that, exit the program. So now let's look at the Saints statistics. Here are their um, overall team stats. Um, and then this is who what year? I think it's 2018. Drew Brees, 334 for 520 for 3,454 yards, 27 touchdowns and five interceptions for a 96.6 rating, and Bridgewater, 6 of 11. Um, Elvin Kamara, 237 rushes for 1,036 yards and 12 touchdowns. Mark Ingram, 155 rushes for 600 yards um, and three touchdowns. Dwayne Washington, 54 for 378 and a touchdown. I'll let you look at their receiving stats. Of course, Kamara also caught 63 passes, which is typical of Kamara. So, yeah, yeah, 2018 New Orleans Saints. So if we go back and we look at by conference here, they were 16 and 0. The next best team was the Kansas City Chiefs of 68, I believe, that I put in that conference, in the West Conference. And they were three games worse at 12 and 3. And then San Diego Chargers at 11 and 5. The best team in the East was the Colts. They were 13 and three. And then the New Jersey Generals at 12 and four. So just thought that would be a nice thing, a little interesting look. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.